Hello everyone, and welcome to a tutorial on how to make terrain using displacements in the Half-Life Alex editor. So the first thing you want to do is click on the block tool, create a block, press enter. So now that you've got a block, get the face selection tool, or press 3. Click on the face that you want to create a displacement on, scroll down, and click on increase subdivision. You can increase this by two or three, depending on how detailed you want your displacement to be. I'll have it at, a bit top, at the top, or somewhere near that. And now, go to your displacement tool by clicking Shift D, or just clicking on it. Now you should be able to just uh, adjust these values and then paint your terrain. Now make sure that you actually have a texture, so like I can use grass and just search for grass and use the face tool to add it, there we go. And now we can pretty much just, and since this is a blend texture it automatically applies the blend to it, so it has dirt in the sides of the hills as you can see here. This is basically just the uh, push and pull tool, so to pull away, to uh, flatten or smooth, uh, you can hold shift and it will smooth it out, or you can just click and it will drag it up. This is the flatten tool, which pretty much just flattens it to the height that you select. So it's like that. This is the move tool, it is kind of like the pinch tool, if you ever use Photoshop I think that's what it's called. It, you can just click on an area and it just drags it. This is the inflate tool, it's like inflating a balloon, you just click on it and it just goes, inflates it all. This is the clay tool, I'm not exactly sure what it does but I think it's uh, to form some, like it's a formation tool or something. This is the pinch tool. It just kind of squishes all the subdivisions into one, kind of like that. I doubt, I doubt you'd ever use that. I can see the point in it. It's kind of very messy. This is the erase tool, it just undoes everything that you've done, so you can just increase strength and it'll just revert everything back to normal. And it should be as easy as that. This is the smooth tool, so let me just create this. It's a very jagged edge. And you can just use the smooth tool over here. And it should start smoothing. Same thing if you use the push tool and hold shift, it should also smooth. It also works in any other tool, if you just, like for example, this tool, you can just hold shift and it'll smooth. Shift is the automatic bind for this, the smooth tool, or you can just press B. The radius and the strength, these are, the strength is basically how much it'll increase by, so if I have that as strength, like if I change this to 250, then it'll really go far. But if I set it to something like 1, it'll go very slowly. The smooth amount is how much you'll smooth by, so if I put it to 100, you'll see that it smooths a lot. But if I put the smooth amount to low, then it'll go very slowly. The radius is how big your circle is, so if I do that, and then that. As you can see, it decreases how the area of which it uses the displacement. And obviously you can change the texture if you want. So yeah, I recommend using a blend texture for grass because it looks much nicer. Like you can just drag it on like that and you've got a blend texture. I just don't use that for grass. I don't know why this is a texture. It kind of looks like camouflage. Also, if you're, that you're, if you're using this as terrain, like all over your map, and you're 
like that, then I recommend that you delete these faces. Don't use no draw because it's source two, it's all mesh based. You 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 don't need to use uh you don't need to use mesh, you can just use these. You can just delete the faces and it doesn't affect it at all. So this is the monstrosity I've created. And I hope you guys can create something better because I, I I'm pretty new to the displacement tool in source two. So I haven't I'm not exactly a professional but hopefully this has helped you. Have a good day.